I'm very up in the air and nervous about talking about this. However, I did want to bring awareness that this is part of our lives. We are in the car right now on our way to downtown Disney. We are in the state of Florida and I have my kids with us as well as Naomi. Naomi is four years old. She has Down syndrome and she is obviously has disability. I don't talk about details with her medical health on this channel, emotional, mental. I don't really go into that too much. However, in my mind, justifiably, I am convinced that she really doesn't need to wear a mask. The state of Florida actually mandates mask wearing for everyone over the age of five. I think it's five and over or over five. Either way, she's four years old. I understand the mask wearing debate. I'm not going to say whether I agree or disagree. However, her wearing a mask is extremely difficult at the age of four. Disney, on the other hand, makes the mask mandate at two and over. They have to wear a mask. This all started because we went to downtown Disney or Disney Springs back in June or July. We went in with Naomi. I didn't think any, I don't know what the rules are, right? So I came in because I'm used to the mask mandate being five and her having her special needs disability situation. And they they gave me a hard time about her not wearing masks. I do know I've also seen videos go viral online where kids with autism trying to get into Disney and Disney refuses to see them. In fact, going back to June, when I said that she has a disability, they said to me that disabilities don't matter at Disney. I, I don't even know it. I, I don't even know what to think about that. I have no comment there. Um, but that was literally word for word what she said to me. But then she said she was one years old and let her in. I, I'm guessing they just didn't want to deal with it. I'm not trying to cause any problems. Um, I want to be respectful. I'm going to see what happens today. Because I, I don't know if we can pull off the... I'm not going to lie. She's four. I mean, I'm not really... I'm not going to try and pull off the... I don't know if they don't say anything going in, but we'll see. They do temperature checks. I do want to mention this is not a political channel. I'm not here to create waves or convince you one way or the other. In fact, I'm not even sharing my viewpoint on this whole mass mandate, but I do want to show you the reality of our life sometimes and there are difficulties that happen and, and things that we have to think about that other people don't have to think about when you have a child with special needs. didn't say anything at all and so far nobody has said anything 
You want to eat? Eat? Say I. I. Nah. How do you say eat? Eat. Eat. Please. Mm. I got you some food, girl. So we are done heading back to the car. Nobody said anything to us about Naomi, which is awesome. Um, it was a lot more uh, relaxed than it was back in June. I did hear a rumor that they did kind of, you know, open it up more to be more understanding towards kids that do have disabilities. Um, they didn't say anything. We just went about our business. Nobody said anything to any of us about anything. So. Um, yeah, I will say it was a much better experience, less stressful. So thank you guys for watching. But if you're interested in hearing about our journey as a homeschool family with a daughter who has special needs, go ahead and click on it, subscribe. Also, we have an Instagram page. So if you have it, Living with Eve is also on Instagram. If you want to know more personal kind of things that are going on, go ahead and check that out. And, um... Until then, I will stick some videos around my face and I will see you in our next video. Bye.